Welcome to the World Brief. The content of the briefing includes China's debt servicing costs to top $170 billion on growing bond issuances. Wait, is America actually banning TikTok now? Abercrombie's 511% rally cools as sales growth concerns mount. Five killed by airdropped Gaza aid package after parachute fails. U.S. Republicans push anti-China bill, but passage unlikely in election year. China's debt servicing costs to top $170 billion on growing bond issuances. Nikkei Asia. China is facing a surge in interest payments as its national and regional governments issue more bonds, raising concerns over a potential credit rating downgrade. The debt servicing burden is expected to increase by 7.8% in 2024 to a record 1.27 trillion yuan, $177 billion, driven by a surge in bond issuances to fund economic stimulus and support cash-strapped regional governments. Interest expenses are growing at a faster rate than other spending categories, reducing flexibility in the overall budget and impacting areas such as social security, employment, and education. Moody's Investor Service recently downgraded its outlook on China's credit rating to negative from stable. Wait, is America actually banning TikTok now? CNN. The House Energy and Commerce Committee in the U.S. has approved a bill to ban TikTok in America. The bill could be voted on by the full House as early as next week. If enacted, the bill would give TikTok approximately five months to separate from its China-based parent company, ByteDance. Failing to do so would result in app stores being prohibited from hosting TikTok on their platforms. The bill also establishes a process for identifying other apps that should be banned. App stores that violate the legislation could be fined up to $5,000 for each user of a banned app, leaving Apple and Google potentially liable for up to $850 billion in fines. TikTok has launched a campaign against the legislation, which it has called an attack on the First Amendment rights of its users. The Chinese government has not been proven to have access TikTok user data, but concerns about the app's security have been raised by U.S. politicians. Abercrombie's 511% rally cools as sales growth concerns mount. Bloomberg Five killed by airdropped Gaza aid package after parachute fails. South China Morning Post A humanitarian airdrop in Gaza has resulted in the deaths of five people and injured ten others. The airdrop was intended to bring aid to the area, however, the parachutes did not open and the aid packages fell like rockets onto the roof of a house. The United States and Jordan are among the countries that have carried out airdrops in northern Gaza, where hundreds of thousands of people are facing dire conditions after more than five months of war. The government media office in Hamasran Gaza has stated that airdrops are futile and not the best way for aid to enter. The United Nations has said that airdrops or a proposed maritime aid corridor cannot be a substitute for land deliveries and has urged more trucks to be permitted to reach Gaza through more border crossings. U.S. Republicans push anti-China bill, but passage unlikely in election year. Nikkei Asia. U.S. Republican lawmakers have introduced a comprehensive anti-China bill that would reshape the two countries' economic relationship, but the proposed law faces long odds in a presidential election year where Donald Trump is the presumptive Republican nominee. Despite the opposition from pro-business groups, hardline stances on trade with China have become more mainstream within the Republican Party. Pope Francis appears in good form and reads homily after the flu sent him to the hospital for tests. Associated Press. Pope Francis made his first parish visit outside of the Vatican this year after recovering from a bout of the flu. He delivered his homily and heard confessions, although he still has mobility problems and uses a wheelchair. The Pope had been hospitalized for tests and had to cancel some appointments due to the flu. He has been suffering from various respiratory infections this winter and has had previous surgeries for health issues. A student from Mexican Teachers College where 43 disappeared dies in a confrontation with police. Associated Press. A student from a rural Mexican Teachers College where 43 youths disappeared in 2014 has died in a confrontation with police, officials said Friday, prosecutors in the southern state of Guerrero said the confrontation occurred late Thursday on a roadway near the Ayatzinapa Teachers College, sources at the college said the dead student, and another who was wounded, were attacked by police. But state police said the students were armed and opened fire on officers after police tried to pull over the vehicle they were riding in because it was reported stolen. Prosecutors said drugs and a gun were found in the vehicle. The underfunded radical rural teachers' colleges in Mexico have a decades long tradition of violent protests and clashing with police. When the 43 male students from the Ayotzinapa school were abducted in 2014, they had been hijacking passenger buses, which they were going to use to travel to a protest. 
Strange Bird stood out 120 million years ago because it didn't have teeth. Yahoo! Scientists have discovered a bird species that lived among dinosaurs 120 million years ago, which has changed the way researchers think about avian evolution. The bird, Imperavis atemberugi, was the first known toothless bird in a landscape filled with birds that had teeth. Enantronathenes are known as opposite birds, because they had a shoulder joint feature that differs greatly from modern birds. Imperavis had large attachment points for muscles in its wing bones, suggesting it could generate a lot of power with its wings and had a strong downward wing beat. The mysteries surrounding the bird's diet and how it digested food remain. The bird, like other enantronathenes, didn't have a digestive organ called a gizzard, which helps modern birds crush up their food. The bird likely foraged on the forest floor, perhaps in search of fruits, seeds, or insects. The bird could be seen hopping and walking on the ground like modern robins. One of the key questions among researchers about bird evolution is why the more diverse enantronathenes went extinct 66 million years ago, while another group called ornithuromorphs survived and enabled modern birds to evolve. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email.